Hey y'all. I just wanted to take a minute and um, <clears throat> kind of show a few things that I received as gifts this year. Finally got around to putting together a little frame and um, some of them I'll uh, and I'm sure you recognize other ones not too sure about that but I also want to take a moment to thank everybody that got into Secret Santa and um, if you haven't gotten your gifts yet then uh I'd give it a few more days. I have contacted certain people, and um, I know some of them haven't put videos up yet. Some of them don't have access to putting videos up yet, but uh, hopefully that'll happen in the near future. But um, if there's any problems with it, just get a hold of me. And I'll see if I can't contact you or give you the contact to your secret Santa. Or I'll do it for you. Makes no difference. And um, we'll get her taken care of. But some of these things you probably haven't seen for a while. Um, are some pieces here from Denmark. From our friends Teddy and Jenny. Uh, these weren't part of Secret Santa. A lot of these weren't. But um, I've been wanting to get together a, a frame with just some stuff that's been given to me. Of course, you uh, probably recognize the stuff I got from Pestle Man. And uh, not too long ago, just got this here, uh, these three points, really some really sweet stuff. I mean, my girlfriend, she tried to steal a capina. And I don't blame her. Man, that thing is super thin. It's just beautiful. I really appreciate those. Um, some of these pieces down here, a couple of them I got from Flint Man Joe. Um, mostly, well, they're all Ohio stuff. Then, uh, this piece here, I got from Snore Tim when he came up for his visit earlier this year, and uh, I took him out to one of our spots, and unfortunately, all he got from Ohio that day was a few brokes, but uh, we still had a good time, and had a... Uh, few other people with us that day. Of course everybody recognizes the river candy and that come from Headhunter LT. <clears throat> Here's a dovetail and that come from Trevor. That uh not sure about the authenticity of that but I tell you what under the scope it don't look too bad but if somebody reproduced it, they did an awfully good job of it. Some stuff I got from Paul last year. And then uh, this Hopewell here. This is a piece I got from my buddy Kenny. That was the very first piece we found the first time we ever hunted together. He found that and gifted it to me about a week later. I couldn't believe it, man. The colors in this thing are just awesome. Then, uh, these pieces up here I just got recently. A couple of blades, or a blade in a preform. And, uh, this camera just don't do this thing justice. It's a nice little flint ridge point. Come up around Serpent Mound. That's a sweet little birdie. 
But got a few pieces out of Tennessee, some out of Kentucky. Huh, I wanted to make sure I showed, showed this one here. This here is a Flint Ridge piece that come out of uh, Ohio, somewhere I read up around Troy. A friend of mine found these, now this one, and another black E-notch field hunting. Unfortunately, they never found the other pieces, but I just couldn't. I mean, I just fell in love with this piece here. It's gorgeous. But then before I get off this thing, I want to I want to show everybody this. I don't know if I mentioned, but them pieces right there in the corner come from Mark, from Jessica and Mark. I better set this thing down because I'm doing it with one hand. <clears throat> and I know Flint's ball knows it. Uh, knows what happens when I start doing that. But this is a piece of ochre, and uh, he showed me this thing. And I just thought this was so cool. I mean, just a regular old piece of ochre. You can rub on it, it just comes right off. But here's the neat thing about this rock. It comes apart. <laughs> and it's got a rock embedded inside of it. This come from up in Clinton County. And I'll tell you what, that thing is just, that's just too sharp. Never seen nothing like that in my life. But that thing is really cool. I'm not going to put it in this case. I'm going to keep it separate with some other stuff just because of the size of it. But uh, I really appreciate everybody gifting me these items. And... Um, I hope to be able to get out and do a few more videos this year. We do have about an inch and a half of snow on the ground right now. But uh supposed to get up around 40, I believe. And hopefully, we'll be able to get out and find a few more. Oh, these two pieces here, this one and this one, come from right down around where uh, Rocky Top Relics is. And uh, that's, I think there's somebody else down that way too. And for the life of me, I can't remember who it is right now, but uh, I know Rocky Top somewhere down there in Greenville. That's Tennessee, but those are Knox County Church. Um, a buddy of mine that gave me them, they were uh, pieces that his dad and uncle collected back when they were kids. And um, he get, wound up giving me 167 pieces. I may have mentioned that before on one of my videos, but man, I tell you what, his dad was a good friend of mine, well, my best buddy for about 25 years. I used to fish a lot of tournaments with him, and he passed away, and I started fishing with his son, and, and he's the one that gave them to me. Last but not least, everybody knows where this comes from. From the master napper himself. He gave me this back around the middle of summer, I guess, or late spring. But Mr. Ken Wallace. This piece is just awesome. Flint Ridge material. Extremely, extremely thin. But, like I said before, I appreciate everything that I've got and everything everybody give me. So I hope you all have a good new year. And it bring, 2013 brings you everything you'd like it to. Alrighty. Well, just wanted to put up a vid so Jonesy didn't get so bored. And I hope to see something from you soon. Alright. Y'all have a good year, new year now. Bye.